Today we're gonna to go over how to make thumbnails for YouTube with Thumbnail Blaster. If you wanna stand out on YouTube, you need thumbnails that stand out from the crowd. Thumbnail Blaster is a great tool that will help you create eye-catching thumbnails. It also comes with a bonus tool, so make sure that you stick around. Welcome to Entrepreneur's Toolbox. My name is Jonathan and I'm here to help you find the tools to build an income online. New videos go up every week, so make sure that you like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you get notified every time that new videos go live. So we're gonna talk about how to make a thumbnail for YouTube videos with Thumbnail Blaster. And what you wanna try and create is scroll stopping thumbnails, scroll stopping. And, and what do I mean by scroll stopping? You know, when you have your phone and you're, you know, you're, you're going down, scroll stopping would be like, I'm going through YouTube, oh, I see that thumbnail. I don't necessarily, I haven't actually read the description or the title or anything yet. I saw the thumbnail and it, it drew me in. How often do you actually read the title of a video before you look at the thumbnail and it's already made you decide to stop and click on it? For instance, I planned it out. I have a limited text. And what my goal with this is to entice curiosity, get people to go like, what's gonna make somebody want to click on this thumbnail? Most people, they shoot their videos, and then they go like, oh man, I gotta make a thumbnail. And then they're they're just hustling to try and just get a thumbnail out, but it's actually the most important thing that you could be focusing on for your video. Please just focus on your thumbnails. Here's another example of a thumbnail for, that actually was relevant to uh, another video that I was like removing um, the background from a video. So it'd be like with GIMP and adding the line around it. If you missed that, I'll drop a link to, to that video up at the top. It's very simple. And all you have to do is like, okay, what am I doing here? I took the same photo and I showed, okay, I can remove the background and this is it removed with that white outline. It tells people exactly what this photo is about. They don't need to worry about the software because they might not have heard about the software that I used GIMP. They know that it's going to solve the problem they have, which is removing the background from their photo and adding that white outline around it. I'm gonna quickly walk you through how I make my thumbnails with Thumbnail Blaster. So this is Thumbnail Blaster. This is just the back portal of Thumbnail Blaster. It's the software that I use to do my thumbnails. Along the left column, there's Thumbnail Creator. Click Thumbnail Creator. You could either upload them directly from the app or you could save them. So these ones, these were lives that I had done. So they were not directed, uh, uploaded directly from the app. If there's a live, you just have to save the thumbnail and upload it through YouTube. But if it's a, a, a if it's a scheduled or a premiered video, you could just schedule it. Uh, you could just upload directly from this by just clicking this. And then even if the video is not live yet, you could just upload it. So I have this chapters video, I'd click that and I click next. So there's my chapters thumbnail. And so this is the editor. So then when you're done, you'd hit save and continue. You could either save as a J, uh, JPEG or a PNG, and then you just hit publish and make sure it's the right one, hit publish. There you're done. And then if I went back to the creator uh, cr um, thumbnail creator tab, so now you see that it says that it was uploaded through the software. If you want to do something like a live, you could always just start with no video. It's typically what I do whenever I'm doing a live. And then I just unclick club. It's an upsell they try to get you to do where there's like subscription. But I find that you're gonna end up finding the type of thumbnail that you want to kind of dial your channel into, kind of like what I've done with mine. Uh, and you're gonna find the ones that you like. I'm just gonna turn off and look at the templates that I've kind of created. Why don't we just quickly try and recreate the thumbnails that I had just made. So I'm just gonna take this, how about this one? So how would I quickly take this thumbnail and turn it into something that I'd want for a video like what I'm doing right now? So how about I don't want this photo anymore, it's from an old thumbnail. I don't need this dollar sign, it's not relevant to this thumbnail. I know I don't need that. Something like this, so okay, okay. And I know that I already had imported those photos. And if it has a alpha background where, you know, you can see through background, then they'll just show up there. So I can just take that same photo that I had already put, take that there. But think about it this way. The reason why I'm able to go fast with creating this thumbnail is because I had it all planned out before I ever even started. So you could adjust different layers. You'd have to play around with things. Okay, look, there we go. So we, we already got something going on. Granted, I, I'd spend a little bit more time tweaking things if I was doing this on my own time. Little tiny thing, there we go. Okay, and then oh, I want that thumbnail, right? I want that thumbnail, there we go. Don't want it to be full size, shrink it down. 
Maybe I, I want it, uh, it's, I would need some separation so I could add a stroke to the thumbnail or to the image. There we go. I can adjust the angle. You make it a little smaller. You know, for the most part, you know, there, there we go, you know, give or take. I mean, I, I'd have to tweak things, modify them, make them look a little bit better. You know, I think this text is a little too big, so I could shrink it up to the top. For the most part, this could be considered done. Again, it, it just depends on what you're trying to accomplish with your thumbnail. I have a particular style that I go with on my channel, and I get a lot of people that actually this does stop the scroll. It gets people to click on it, creates curiosity. Thumbnails are so important. Are you gonna try Thumbnail Blaster? If you already use a tool, what is it? Let us know in the comments. If you wanna learn more YouTube tips and tricks, check out this video next. If you got value out of this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell, and I will see you in the next one.